guys, today I'm here to do my favorite books that I read this year. As of filming this, I've read 96 books. I'm hoping by the end of the year that I actually hit 100. My goal on Goodreads was to read 75, but I surpassed it a long time ago. And just recently, when I got up to about 90, I decided I wanted to try and hit 100. So cross your fingers that I can finish 100 books this year. I do have a lot of family coming in the next couple weeks, so I might not have time to read. Okay, so I looked at my Goodreads page and I went to all of my five-star books this year. I actually had quite a few five-star books and there were a lot of four-star that I would have loved to have mentioned on here, but I decided to just do my five-star, much like my favorite movies of the year that I did Monday, which will be linked down in the description if you want to go check that out. I will not be counting down to my favorite books. These were all five stars, so they were my favorite books of the year. Okay, so I'm just going to jump right into this list. The first one I'm going to mention is The Green Mile. As you may be aware, for Stephen King's birthday this year, I was reading a bunch of his books. I had never read any of his books before, and I decided to pick up The Green Mile because I had short editions that I thought I could get through really quick. The story didn't sound like it would interest me any, but I tried it anyway, and I absolutely fell in love with this book. I was totally surprised that I liked this, but I loved everything about this book. First of all, I loved the edition of books that I had. They came out in 100 pages every month, so I could sit down and read a 100-page book really quick, but I also just loved the characters, and I ended up falling in love with the story. Being that it is set on death row, I knew that they were going to have to die eventually, but I was still heartbroken every time they would kill someone off. If you've been wanting to read some more Stephen King or just get into his writing, definitely check out The Green Mile because I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Okay, so I decided to put two Maya Angelou books on here. I read my first two by her and I plan on reading a lot more. Those two are Letter to My Daughter and Wouldn't Take Nothing from My Journey Now. These were really short books that I think I might have read for a readathon. I absolutely love her writing style. It's so easy to get through. I remember especially Letter to My Daughter was really inspirational, but like I said, I plan on reading so many more of her books. Next up, I'm going to mention A Grief Observed. This is by C.S. Lewis. Again, I read this book because it was really short and I was in the middle of a readathon. I read it all in one sitting and I wanted to mark every single page as I read it. I seriously don't remember if there was a page that I didn't want to mark in this book. This is about C.S. Lewis losing his wife and it was just all of the thoughts that goes through his head. I decided not to mark any of the pages in this book because I plan on just rereading it again. Okay, so next I'm going to mention Fried Green Tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe. I watched this movie when I was really young and I absolutely love the movie, so I thought it would be really fun to get into the book. The book was just as good as the movie. Obviously, I gave it five stars. I just really love this story and all of the characters are just so cute. Most of the time I like to read the book before I see the movie, but I did see this when I was younger and I'm really glad that I did get to see the movie before I read the book because I could imagine all of the people in the book just like the movie. Again, I plan on reading more books by Fanny Flagg. I've actually bought a couple of them, I just haven't got around to reading them, so maybe that can be something I do next year. And the last one I'm going to mention in this video is And Every Morning the Way Home Gets Longer and Longer by Frederick Bachman. I think I've read all of Frederick Bachman's translated fiction. Only one of them I disliked, I actually gave that one star but the rest I've either given four or five stars to. This one got five stars, and it may be my favorite from him. And I think this one's actually a novella. I listened to it on audio, and I listened to it in the morning when I was getting ready. It really is a fantastic book, but just like all of his other books, it was really sad. But I definitely recommend checking this book out. It really is a fantastic book. Okay, so those were all of my five-star reads this year. Let me know what some of your favorite books were that you read this year, and maybe I will check them out as well. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!